singer-songwriter from Australia, Mr. Lloyd Back. Good to be with you, Otto. Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, I've got a few questions, mate. Q&A. All right. Okay. What's your favourite food? Does chocolate count? Yeah. Chocolate lollies, ice cream. But real food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spaghetti bowl. Is it really? Yeah. Or steak. <laughs> is this... Is this multiple choice answers? <laughs> no, it's not. Just oh, right. one. Got to pick one. What's your favourite food? Oh, and steak. it's not a smorgasbord. Steak. Steak. Lloyd Back, what was the first CD you purchased? John Denver. Greatest hits, I reckon. I can see that. Yeah. It would have been a cassette. Right here, mate. First band you joined or started, what was the name? There was Fat Cow. Party band. Pub rock band back at, <laughs> at home. Yeah, Fat Cow. <laughs> that name still gets me. <laughs> Who thought of that? Uh, one of the guys, the lead guitarist in the band, he, he, and he, he got it from. We we couldn't we couldn't come up with a name. We kept tossing around ideas, and we turned up to practice all night. He said, "Fat cow, where did that come from?" Pulled out a Far Side comic. Oh yeah, and the picture of a fat cow there with a guitar or something, and that was oh, it. Fantastic. It was a great name. Yeah. Okay, mate. What do you enjoy most about being a musician or an artist? I guess knowing uh, that you, you, the feedback from audiences, from people who hear your music, listen to your songs, and knowing that you've, you've, your songs, your music has been good for them in some way. So, you know, the positive. Touching people with your story. Yeah, touching people, connecting with people, yeah. Okay. Are you a morning person? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first instrument you learnt to play? Recorder at school. You know, there's 10 million people in Australia all that recorded three some blind stage, mice. Probably. Three blind mice. Da, yeah. da, 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 da. But no, nah, guitar was the first real instrument. I oh, know, I like recorder. I reckon Lloyd Back, you're going to have a recorder, mate. <laughs> if it wasn't a music career, what would you be doing? I love my job now. I'd, I'd be doing what I'm still doing now. That's working as a youth worker. Been doing that for 20 years. Yeah. Never set out to do it, but fell into it and um, just loved it and still doing it. So. Is there an instrument you wish you learnt to play? Piano. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to. I had a couple of goes at it over the years, but yeah, great, great instrument. Is Lloyd Back a dog or a cat person? Dog. Dog? Yeah, we, well, I love our dogs. We've got three dogs. We've got two cats as well. But um, yeah, if I had to choose, it'd be dog. How come you've got two cats? Well, we just do. <laughs> <laughs> Did they just turn up one day? No, no, we... We we bought them. Were you going to make fried rice one day or something? <laughs> or what was the first concert you ever went to, not as a musician or an artist, like as a, a music lover? Would have well, would have been Slim Dusty when I was a kid. Oh yeah, great Dad one. took us. You know, I, I remember that was when we lived on the farm. We we turn up in our pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did they have like the slot in the front? Probably. No, little kids. I, I'm I'm sure. We, we all get thrown in the car in our PJ, so we fall asleep on the way home after the concert. But, yeah, Slim Dusty. Yeah, but can you remember the old pyjamas where they had the slot in the front? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would, so it would have been that. Oh, gee, what if our Winky jumped out halfway through a song? <laughs> What's the best advice you could give someone? Be true to yourself. Bit of a cliche, be yourself. Be true to yourself. Yeah, that's a good work one. Out and work out who you are and, and stick with it. What is your favourite colour? I'd have to say blue, except for probably this time of year, six weeks in the year. Maroon, but rest oh, of the year, yeah. the rest of the year, blue. What is your favourite musical instrument? Guitar. Like of any instrument you could sit down and listen to, it's guitar. Yeah, I reckon. Ooh. Yeah. I reckon the recorder would have been close. Yeah, well, it's got a special place in my heart. Okay, so what's the best advice given to you? I do know, but it's a long story. Yeah, I'll go. go. Like I said, quick answers, but anyway, <laughs> get into it. I had a job once... Uh, in my school holidays, working in the ice cream factory, my granddad got me the job and I was going flat out on this machine with boxes coming down I was supposed to be packing and I was getting stressed about it, stuff going everywhere and this old bloke walked up to me and said, mate, just let a few drop on the ground and he turned and walked away. I thought, what do you mean? And I thought about it and got it. I said, well, I can only do my best. That was his way of saying do your best. Ah. And I did. I, 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 I let a few drop on the ground next thing you know, someone's on the machine next to me. So that was his way of saying, just do your best. Ah, oh, very good. What's your favourite place you've ever travelled to? Probably um, over to the States as far as a, a really special holiday when we went to America a few years ago. Yeah. What place? It, oh, I loved all of it. It's just such a great experience. Went to Nashville, so it was pretty special. Nashville uh, for the music and it's a great little uh, place just out of Nashville called Twin Oaks. 
mm. dude ranch, horse property. But I just loved all of it. It's just a great place. What accent do you find sexy? <laughs> Oh, oh, Lindsay Waddington has a few different <laughs> tones of voice. Oh, sexy, I don't know, probably um, far out. Kath and Kim. I can't do it, but... Hey, on, Lloyd. <laughs> What's something that you're really bad at? Art, drawing, dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else while you're going? What was your first job? Dad used to pay us a few cents an hour to work on the farm when I was a kid. Does that count? Yep. Yeah, a few cents. Drive, oh, I think it was 50 cents an hour to drive the tractor. Yeah. yeah. Lloyd Back, have you ever been mistaken for someone? And if you have, who was it? Kevin Costner? Well, well no, no. No, people say, oh, you look like, um, have said to me years ago, I've said, you look like Bon Jovi when my hair was a bit longer. But I've never been mistaken for anyone, I don't think. So that, <laughs> so, <laughs> Bon Jovi, <laughs> really? Yeah. Did their but, guide dog think that too? <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you have any hidden talents or party tricks? I think I'm doing well just to turn up to the party. So. <laughs> What's your favourite musical collaboration you've done? Lindsay Waddington. Really? Yeah. We did um, Wheatfields in the Moonlight. Oh, that won an That's award overseas. Won an award, yeah. Ooh. And then we did um, Strong Love. We did. They are the only ones I've ever done, but... <laughs> I was going to say, you need to get out more. <laughs> they are still my favourites. Before going on stage, do you have any superstitions, rituals or good luck charms? Try and warm up and hope I've done, <laughs> hope I've done enough practice. <laughs> but you don't sort of say, oh, I've got to come on from a certain side of the stage? No, no. You've got to sit in the exact same spot? No. Oh, I do. Haven't you ever noticed that? Yeah, I've got to have my spot. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I know. Head. When we've done shows, it's always... Yeah, the yeah. same, but uh, I don't see it as a superstition. It works, but I thought that was all just so we wouldn't guitars wouldn't <laughs> cut, cut that, cut that. So it wouldn't guitars wouldn't clash. <laughs> Daddy, you are, you are not including that. No, no way. <sighs> I didn't know we sat that close on stage. <laughs> well, there's been some pretty small venues. <laughs> Oh, mate, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sitting with the drummer next to him. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, what is your favourite moment of your career and why? <laughs> oh, that time you and I were on stage and we sat the wrong way around. You know? <laughs> oh, oh. Favourite was, I'll say it again. <laughs> Your favourite moment of your career and why? One time I was on, um, it was at the Capitol Theatre on stage. I was playing some rhythm guitar. Yeah. And I remember, I don't know how it came about, I looked across and there was Lindsay Waddington, Charlie Boyder, Laurie Minson. Oh, yeah. All playing an instrumental or something. And I'm there playing saying, how did I get to do this? Because uh, I, th I remember that clearly. I thought these guys are as good as you're ever going to get. Oh, well, mate. In Australian country music. So there you go. If you could be anyone else, who would you be? Bring him back from the dead? Yeah. Yeah. John Denver. I can see that, mate. I, mm. I reckon you're like Australia's version of that. If you were stranded on a deserted island, what three things would you want with you? An esky with plenty of food and ginger beer or water. Yep. Um, good book and an e -perb. Ah, yes, yes. Very good. Very so I, I'd relax until they arrived. You never thought about taking your wife? <laughs> okay, mate, what's your guilty pleasure? Oh, sweet tooth. Yeah. All these chocolate. chocolate. What's your favourite venue or festival you've played at? Well, this is multiple choice. Capital Theatre at Tamworth, The Shed, Nanango. Yeah, that's and a ripper. It's fantastic. Udi's Cafe, Bundaberg. Yep. Do you have any phobias? Snakes. Don't like snakes. Hmm, snakes. I remember that. <laughs> Oh, I can't stand them, so you're not going to get any prank from me. Are you a sports fan? Yes, love it. Love sport. Which one? Yeah. Rugby league would be the top of the list, I reckon. Top. Yeah. Well, it's really good having you here, Lloydie. Thanks, mate. Lloyd back. Thank you.